Fanatics. Yo. Happy, all from my Instagram, all from my snappy. Crowd response, you know, we hashtag happy. Oh, it's a lot of money, oh, we hashtag happy. See the DJs, not hungry, them stay happy. The cop around, dog, you know, we happy. It's a lot of money, dog, hashtag happy. See the DJs in the competition, yo, them stay happy. Watch me now, DJ Dems and stay happy. DJ Remy, oh, I'm happy. DJ Smokey, I'm happy. DJ Pat Jam, I'm hashtag happy. The wild card Gucci best, she hashtag happy. The one Rob cut him, stay hashtag happy. Yo, crowd response, yeah, we're happy. 25th of May in Birmingham, you know we're happy. Yo, you understand? So Saturday, 25th of May at a secret location in Birmingham. Six DJs will be battling it out for the cup. Who will win? It's all about the big crowd response. Early bird, 10 pound tickets. Standard 15 pound tickets. More on the door. Ticket out at Summit Records, top taste. And how Man. Yeah, fierce, yeah. I need a voice, you know, say the H2O boss from out of the Steel City. Hashtag Boss Division. Tune in and subscribe to Sound System TV for 2019 and beyond. Don't forget the Sound System clothing neither. The most reviews, the most interviews from a humble selector hype. So do remember, hit and press the subscribe button for Sound System TV. A mad thing, an normal thing. In dark by yours truly, the H2O boss, Mr. Boss Division himself. You understand? Selector hype, big up yourself. I'm out. TV Sound System and all is Selector Hype. We are back, another edition. And what a year it's been, 2019. It's looking good for all kinds of competitions. You know that we're going to be covering every single one. So we are starting off the year with one of the big major events that is taking place. It's an event that many of you may not be familiar with. But it's been going on for a while right about now. It's creating a big, big, big buzz. And let me tell you something massive. We're not talking about trophies. We're not talking about certificates. We're talking about for the first time. This is the first time I'm holding myself. Look at this. This is the crowd response belt. This is the first time I'm seeing the belt. It's kind of heavy as well. Very. And it's going to be crazy. Who is going to win this? We don't know just yet, but we're going to be speaking to all of the contenders and right now up inside the building, one of my brethren's in I've been following this DJ for a very, very, very long time. He's been doing this thing. If you've been following me on Facebook, I've been saying, yo, this brother is one of the brothers in. From, from he started his career out right up to the present moment when big events take place, his name is on the bill. Crowd response, conde contender number one, DJ Dems. What are you saying, fam? Chilling, chilling. Yeah, just, just ready for the works, really, isn't it? Just ready to just go in there. Well, the, the belt's kind of close to you, right? Yeah, it's now. very close. How, to how you feeling? How you feeling about the whole preparation? Very, very excited, you know. Um, can't wait for the night. It's gonna be, it's gonna be explosive. It's mm. gonna be a, a lot of, a lot of vibes. A lot of, a lot of things that go up on the night still. So yeah, man. It's gonna be one of them nights I can't wait for. Uh -huh. Now you are, like I said, for the years now, man. You've been doing your thing. Mm -hmm. You do have a fan base, so and it is called crowd response. What's the key things that you've been doing right about now to kind of get yourself in the zone, not only to um, play for your crowd, but to win over the fellow contest contenders um, crowds as well? Just being, um, I don't know, more just relaxing, just fun and relaxing kind of vibe, just taking it in. Um, as we as we play every week, so it's kind of a natural kind of thing to me still. Mm. Crowd is fun. So I'm gonna have to deal with it a bit more differently, but not as yeah. much differently to when I'm playing. Like, you get me? The juggling's gonna have to be a di different set of probably songs or whatnot, but I deal with it differently. You get me? So yeah, I'm ready for it. Being being listening to a couple of old sound packs and all them things that you know what I mean. Mm. <laughs> the, the taking in the cool vibes and that, but you know what I mean. Crowd is fun. It's not a clash, but it's it's built around that kind of vibe. Yeah, if you know yeah. what I'm trying to say, is him. So yeah. That's what I've been doing, just, just chilling, taking in what i got to take in and don't want to give out too much kind of contenders or over the other contenders that are preen my thing over there. Now, so. I know they're all over there right mm -hmm. now, but at the same time, when it comes to the preparation, is there anybody that you was kind of like keeping your eye open on to say, raw, well, my man's in it still, you know, I'm going to have to kind of maneuver a certain way about certain situations. Not, not do you know what? Everyone, everyone's, a good, everyone's a good selective in their own right. The wild card is obviously a wild card because it's a female uh, selector in there, so it's a bit different. But everyone in there is a DJ. Everyone, uh, yeah, everyone's all right. Everyone's decent, but there's levels in it, and I think my level is just a way above what they're dealing with. Which was know? kind of going to be my next question: was like, what, what are you going to bring to the table, and why should people come and come and support you at Crowd Response? Um, I'm going to bring fun, laughter. I'm going to bring. Um, 
some good music. That's the main thing because we want the crowd to respond on a good level. We don't want no little easy, easy little run. We're going to really find some deep songs and people that really meditate and say, yo. Oh, that why the northern songs and you know what I mean. So that that's kind of where I'm kind of angling it at. But yeah, man, we got it kind of packed and ready, uh-huh. ready for the thing, man. Now, let's take away from the competition for a little bit. Just about yourself, DJ, yeah, and what vibes you're right about now. How's your year been so far? And away from crowd response, what what else is going on with Dems right now? Um, as you know, I run my birthday party every year. Um, so I've been focusing on that. Other than that, doing private parties and taking bookings uptown, downtown, wherever it is. Not too long ago, played on the Dublin Magnum show. Um, played on a couple events that weekend as well. So it's, it's kind of crazy just when the events are there and, that, and you know how Birmingham runs as well. So you just know the events are the only names on it. You're there basically. But mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it's been crazy up and down. Just saying, I make, I do a lot of um, online stuff as well. My, my SoundCloud and that. So I do like make a lot of mixtapes and all of them things. So got a lot of overseas following as well. Not so it's, it's, it's crazy still. Just being just working on that side of things. Uh-huh. Well, we're gonna get all your information and make sure it's yeah, across yeah. the screen and everything. Yeah. So you know what it is, Dems is up inside the building, yeah. he is one of the contenders, yeah, man. he is going to definitely bring it to the table, trust me, like I said, yeah. the belt is very close, right? I might make you touch it right now, you know fam? I don't want to touch it till now, you know, because we're, we're not hype like that, it's isn't kinda, it? It's kind of weird, isn't it, Remy, we're not hype like that, Remy, yeah. <laughs> Yo. You know it's fast and furious, it, all it is, it is about crowd response. The 25th of May, please keep it locked onto all social media platforms, TV sound system, Facebook, Twitter, you know where everything is right about now. Is there anything you want to say before you're out of here, Dems? Um, basically, those people come out to crowd response, 25th of May, secret venue, venue will be revealed on the day. Come out with the good vibes, come out, enough guys going to be a crazy, crazy event, I tell you that, you get me? Especially when I step down, bam, that's all I got to say, is it? I'm going to be wearing that around my shoulder, walking through saying, yeah, I did it, mommy. Bad ticket, 25th of May, make sure you check it out. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Crowd response, but it's going to take a trophy. Out one. Yeah. TV sound system, you know what it is. Select a hype up inside the building. The belt is here. You know what it is. It's all about crowd response. It's going off. Wow. It's been a while I've had a, an interview where I can kind of like sit kind of close to the the contender, the wild card. She's looking kind of calm at the moment right about now. Munchie Bless, how are you doing? I'm doing well, baby, how are you? Well, first of all, looking splendid for the cameras. Oh, thank you. But it's a war, it's a showdown, it's crowd response. Mm-hmm. It's not no pretty, pretty thing. No, but anyway, me have a pretty too, because me, <laughs> me are the prettiest one, so you know, so I'm just come easy and done. Let's talk about a little bit about your career for the people who don't know much about you. Where does it all start out for you? Because I mean, like, this is the first time we're meeting up, linking up. Yeah. I've seen you do the promo, you seem extremely confident about everything. Where did it all start for you? You know what? Um, I've just been doing lives. Mm-hmm. And I think it's when I went viral, I went to Jamaica for like my first holiday back for 16 years. Okay. And I did some viral, a, a, a video about some morals mm-hmm. and it went viral. So after that sensation, I just came somewhere that done my blogging, okay. you know, I'm feeling so, so. Mm-hmm. Um, fashion, just anything, partying, promos. Um, so yeah. And how did the music transition into you becoming a well, DJ? I am not a DJ. I'm an intent- I'm an entertainer. Oh, so you're like you're literally like yes. a actual wild card. Yes. Like you ain't got no DJ skills no. or anything. Just go in. I can't spin. This no could be extremely like, embarrassing. Not, no, but no, not for me. For no, them. for them. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I mean. Because you got some tough tops in okay, here. Okay, you know? so you know, when, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a trophy already because uh-huh. I'm the banter queen. Yeah. They're DJs. I'm here for them. Yeah. I hold, I'm only hoping they can manage my mouth. You know, I know what I'm going to be dealing with them. Because they're kind of nervous. I know they are. Uh-huh. Very nervous. So how are you going to go around preparation, preparating? Because considering you're not a DJ, but you are into the DJ competition, how do you go about it? And how do you pick certain songs to go in there and be able to represent? Well, I go out a lot. I listen to music in general. So mm. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a music lover. I know what goes. And for myself, I do hosting as well. Mm-hmm. So... I have to judge, basically, some of, the, some of the hosting, I have to judge what DJ works and what flows goes after whatever. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So, I kind of get the little logistics of how to put music, plus mm-hmm. my, the person that I'm going to be working with is a real top, top dark, okay. and then very nervous. So is that somebody that everybody knows? Are you, yes. Are you working closely with yes, somebody that yes, everybody yes, knows? Yes, yes. Okay, then cool. Away from the competition, 
you're just talking about like your social media mm -hmm. presence and everything right about now. Um, how has social media changed um, your career in terms of being out there? And what's your favorite social media platform? Well, I started off on Insta um, Facebook, mm -hmm. um, and I made a transition to Instagram. Um, I think I like Instagram more, mm -hmm. and um, it has been rough the, 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 the transition, and mm -hmm. you know, like the internet's a messy and all that now. Mm -hmm. But it has made me well more well known. Mm -hmm. I do service and products sometimes, so I sell stuff and. It helped me to get out there to mm -hmm. people I don't, I've never met. I've got friends I've never met, yeah. and yeah, Instagram and yeah, I must be got Instagram how, um, how, followers. <laughs> how do you deal with because with with, with social media, you got to take the rough with the smooth. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing somebody with your presence, your persona, and the way how you put yourself mm -hmm. across, you're gonna get those kind of ignorant Defo, people Defo. who kind of like put you down, and try mm -hmm. and try and discredit you and have a, 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 a whole lot of negative vibes. How do you kind of like take that in and, and how do you, um, just basically how do you deal well, with situations like let that? let me tell you, we're pretty, you know, <laughs> we're very pretty but we can be very rough too, so, <laughs> you know, so you, you, you give some and you lose, you know, you're going to yeah. take some and you're going to give some, so I'm not going to act like I don't give it back sometimes, yeah. but I'm a confident person, I'm very confident but I'm not arrogant because I'm not mm -hmm. better than anybody, but I'm confident in myself, so people will come for me and it won't bother me, but it's, it's Something else will bother me. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? But otherwise, I'm good. I, I can block out negativity. I, I'll, I'll cost for a minute and I'll press and I'll shoot it off. <laughs> My spirit is just free. I mm -hmm. just get on with it uh, and, and that's it. So, you're based oh. over here in the UK now, yeah? yeah? That's yeah. right. What's your, what's your vibes? In, um, I know that was it 16 years since you went to Jamaica, mm -hmm. is that right? Mm -hmm. um, even though it was such a, a long time, what's the difference and what do you see the difference between the vibes that's going on in, in England and the vibes? Uh, from Jamaica. Well, Jamaica, the thing is, people just party and people just get on and just live their life. If it's party sense you're talking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah people see. just, you know, you see the videos of the girls just running up and down, the man and their all party, and everybody just, when I'm in Jamaica, I just, when I was in Jamaica, I just party. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like anybody was watching me or judging whatever. I just partied and it was nice. Okay, cool. Good vibes. So, people, it's gonna go down 25th of May. I'm not even lying. Mm -hmm. yeah. She looks so sweet. I just be like, give her the bed. I no, know, I'm just cut. It's mine's already, <laughs> so I don't know. Is there anybody that you want to pick up before we out? Well, yeah, big up all my good puss them, because my team good puss. Uh -huh. Yeah, and big up me, Munchy Bless, and all my followers. Big up myself, Shati, Bread, you don't know. And I'm, I'm bringing it home. I'm bringing it home. Don't watch me now. Can she do it? 25th of May, make sure you're going to be up inside the building. Munchie Bless, thank you so much for taking thank the you, time darling. out. And no doubt, mm -hmm. we might see you victorious. Yeah, I know I am. Just kiss me, I'll get a kiss on the TV. Yo, get out the belt from <laughs> now. <laughs> now, nah, we're out of one piece. That's a shame. TV sound system, you know what it is? It is all about crowd response. It is going down. If you're not seeing this belt, man, it is absolutely stunning. Whoever is going to take this, is it's a new level. It's all about the belts now. No certificate, no trophy, no 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 vouchers. It's, it's all about the belt right about now. And we're speaking with somebody who you know. I've known this man for a minute, man. Trust me. And I've always been saying that he is going to be the future. He's out there doing his thing. He's been doing it for a long time right about now. He's stepping up the pace neatly. Seen him put up a post the other day, walking out of dance with our 200 pound money pull up. Simple things. So a crowd response shouldn't really be a problem for you. No, Remy, problem. what are you saying, man? No, no, no. <laughs> Apache Warrior, Remy, you're beside the place. What are you saying? There, fam, just there. Remy. How's your preparation going, man? Because, I mean, you know the thing is, like, you're more, out of everybody, you're, you're the one I know probably more than anybody. And I know how competitive you yeah. are in the team, especially on the sound team. Um, how seriously are you taking this? Serious, man. Serious, serious, mm. serious, I think. You know, all the years that I've been DJing, I've heard about crowd response and, you know, I got the pick, I got the call and this is my 10th year in the business, so uh -huh. I think this year is the year for me. Yeah. You get me? And how's preparation been going for you? I mean, like, you got the phone call, I'm um, guessing you just was like, yeah. Right, how, did you you know, feel, if, how did you feel as soon as you, like, hung up and said, yeah, I'm in it this year? Well, to be fair, when Shorty called me and said, Remy, you're on it, I just, I was just like, yeah, man. 
That's what I wanted for this year. Mm. Something for this year to mark 10 years in the business. So it's a, it's a good thing. And how's your 10, how, and how's your crowd, um, how's, your, how's your promotional tool going right about now in terms of coming there and getting that, the crowd on your side? Well, you know, so I play every weekend, non-stop. I've had probably, this is my weekend coming, mm -hmm. is my first weekend of in a year. Oh yeah, I heard so, you mention that, you know, but you never is, know, it's still early, you might get that phone might call. Just, get, just like you, <laughs> them last yeah, I might be the one still. <laughs> Well, yeah, but speaking about Apache Warrior, 10 years in the yeah. game, um, are you happy with the progress where you are right now? I mean, 10 years is yeah. a long time. A lot of people still, we, we could still like still see Apache Warriors, yeah. the young sound, the new sound, but 10 years is 10 years. It's a long yeah, time. 10 years is 10 years. You know what I mean? Are you happy with the progress where you're where you going to where you are now? I am. I never thought I'd be this far or mm. reach this far, this far. So I am happy with progress and I am happy where I am and I know I've got further to go as well. So What improvements is there that you would like to see, okay, you got 10 years from now, yeah. 10 years now, let's just say, let's half that, say, between now and the next five years, where would you like to see um, the, you are the, There's a lot of improvements to make, but it's, a, it's something that, you know, you'll have to see for yourself, it's not a talking thing, it's like, mm -hmm. me do, I've got my mentors around me, you know, promoters that will help me, call me and say, remember this, that, boom, so, you know, five years, I could be anywhere, I could be in Dubai, I could be in America, I could be in Yara, I could be anywhere true five team, years team, from now. Because like now, ten years, I didn't expect to be playing out every weekend for one anyway. Yeah. So, so that, man. Current situation in the dance hall, because you're right up in there, yeah. you're seeing what's going on. Um, what's the scene like? What's the dance hall scene and, and what, what could change for the better with what's going on? Because obviously, you know, we do social media yeah, a bit yeah, and yeah, there's, yeah. there's always that time where every other month, we have a set of DJs, yeah. Yeah. bash other DJs, boy, <laughs> some DJ, this, some this, that, yeah. what, 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 what's, what's the vibe like out there um, right now, what could change for make dance all even I better? Think, I think everyone just needs to be in their own lane, everyone needs to be in their own lane and do what they need to do in the business to make the business go for, forward, you get me, and when everyone's in their own lane then the, everyone, the business can move forward mm. as a collective unity, yeah. you know what I mean? So that, that's what I think, man. It's going to be absolutely crazy, massive. 25th of May, this man also is going to be up inside the building. Apache Warrior. Future plans away from um, crowd response, although you've got a weekend off, yeah, that'll give you yeah. a chance to kind of prepare yourself. But what's, what's going to be happening inside the future? Are we seeing um, your well, barbecue annual happening? Well, this year, summer, I'm launching the second sound system. Wow. Um, the big sound, so um, we're still in preparations for that. It's mm -hmm. definitely going to be a barbecue style. Um, ten years in the business for Remy, um, five years for Apache Warrior, and launch for the Big Sound. Um, also, just to mention while we're on camera, Slosha is already 100% booked. <laughs> I have to get that to get there, man. Trust me. <laughs> People, you know what it is. Crowd response the 25th of May. Remy's normally a little bit more... Has a more fighting thing right now, but I know it's early days. I know he's gonna have a plan. Yeah. I think the belt, the belt's getting closer to him right about now. But it's yeah, getting man, close it's, yeah. to practically every contender because we're gonna be interviewing them right here. Yeah, so, Remy, anything you wanna say between people and before you? Um, big up to everybody and make sure I say you have your tickets. Them and make sure if you don't have your tickets, you reach on the night and you enjoy yourself. Holy for DJ, holy for entertainment, and holy for vibes. So just roll out and be a love. God bless. Crowd response, make sure you're there. Mad. Peace. Wow, it's getting close to that date, the 25th of May. It's all about crowd response. Now, you know when these kind of events come, come about, you have to have some order in the place. You have to have somebody with experience, <laughs> knows what they're doing, knows how to handle the crowd, because it might turn into a musical riot out there, <laughs> or we need someone to calm it down. So the man who is taking up that challenge, because trust me, Reggie, it's not going to be easy that night, you know. You don't the man himself, Smudge. How are you doing, man? I'm good, man. And yourself? Yeah, man, I'm good, man. I'm good. Nice, um, nice. How's your feelings about crowd response? What, what, is, what, what is your vibe and, and your whole take on it? I think it's a brilliant concept. Uh, this will be the third time mm -hmm. I'm comparing hosting, um, crowd response. As you said before, it's not an easy task, because mm -hmm. um, obviously... Everybody has their favourites, mm -hmm. um, and so obviously at times it is difficult, and then especially to keep the DJ order and still try and work the crowd as well at the same time. It's a it's a big job. So you've been you've been 
hosted it for the, the three years. Yeah, this will be my third time. So it'll be your third time. So yeah. the, that's two times. Yeah. Um, great response. Uh, it was a great vibe. Why do you think it works? I mean, you standing there and looking at the crowd and, and, and being able to manage the crowd and seeing what's going on. I think, what makes you think it just it just seems to like, work? Like I said to you before, I think the, the, the actual concept of, of, of crowd response is, is, is um, different to any normal function that you'll go to on a Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, we've got five DJs all going head to head. Um, and uh, I just think everybody brings their own fans with them, mm -hmm. and so that enhances the uh, the night as well. You bring your own, bring your own fans, bring their fans, and their fans are cheering for them mm -hmm. uh, against the other person. And obviously, the DJs themselves, for me, they make it work because they uh, they've got to abide by the rules, mm -hmm. um, and they have to find you. They have to find you to play music and to get the response that they want from the crowd. So, um, Your musical experience now and being there for the two years, have you seen a DJ kind of like play a song where you didn't expect you would get such a crowd response or, or even vice versa, you hear a DJ play a wow. song and think... Well, I could think back to um, uh, the first, yeah, the first one I did in Ruskin Hall when Tyro Melody was in and he played uh, a hip hop round, R&B round, uh, I thought the roof was going to come off, mm. you know, the crowd went absolutely nuts. Uh, so, you know, most of the DJs have, have done that and um, they've performed really, really well in their, in, during their sets. So, um, but, you know, uh, that one stands out in the memory for me. Mm. Uh, fantastic night, brilliant night. Um, and the other one, obviously, that Mr. Len one, that was another fantastic night as well. Another brilliant occasion. He played some fantastic music. And, mm. Like I said, they're bringing their fans and their fans are cheering for them. The one thing I would say to the fans is, when it comes to the judging part, try to give us a helping hand by only cheering for your DJ or your selector, your entertainer. Mm -hmm. And then when it's time for us to pull it out for somebody else, just keep quiet so we can get the right response. Right response yeah. That's the way we can judge the thing properly. But if everybody just keeps shouting for the sake of shouting, then it's going to be difficult. So just cheer mm. and make noise for your selector, your DJ, your entertainer, just for that person alone when it's, when it's asked for. And then when it's the next person, just keep quiet so we can get and judge the thing correctly. Mm. And that way everybody goes home happy. Without saying on camera, do you, over the years, have you always had a key person in your head that you think was going to take you? You mean before, while... Like, like for this one that's coming now? For this do one you that's have, coming you now? Line up? Without saying on camera, you have got somebody in your, in your mind to say, well, I'm going to take it, you know. Boy, I think this, this one's kind of sticky. This mm. one's going to be tough because I believe everybody's coming out um, with full ammunition. So I think this one is going to be tough. We've got a wild card in there. Um, we've got some very good DJs, you know, Dems, uh, Pat Jam, Spooky, Remy, mm -hmm. you know. So um, I think it's going to be fantastic. Um, it's going to be a brilliant occasion. I don't want to say, I'd, at this present moment in time, I wouldn't, I don't know who to put my money on. Mm -hmm. If I was a betting man, I don't know who to put their money on. But... If you were giving the belt away, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, your job is yeah. strictly hosting that night. I know you're going to do a fantastic job, man. Um, any advice for any of the DJs? I mean, we're probably watching this now. They're going to see crowd response. You being a host, not necessarily DJing there, but you're seeing the, the actions and the interactions of what's going on. What does it take to be a DJ to stand on that well, stage and represent? Just come there and be yourself, number one. Be entertaining, number two, because that's obviously the main thing you need. You need the response. From the crowd so be entertaining um, and just give it your best shot don't be shy just go all out and do what you have to do and at the end of the day the best man will win just like a boxing match the best man wins at the end of 12 rounds so um, that's it somebody's gonna walk away with this and I'm gonna get the chance to present you can hold it. <laughs> yeah. there you go. Wow. Wait to eat it. It is, it Wait is. Wait man, trust me. So this is where it's all taking place, massive the 25th of May, crowd response. Smudge is gonna be up inside the building, dealing with everything and make sure you're up inside the building. Any last big ones before you're out. Listen, if you've never been to crowd response before, trust me, it is an occasion not to miss. So get yourself a ticket. If you haven't got a ticket, then make sure you show up 
on the night. You'll be able to pay on the door. Don't miss this fantastic occasion because trust me, crowd response is a big one. Make sure you tune in. Log on. Smudge, respect every respect. single time. Man. Trust Bless. me. Crowd response, the 25th of May is getting heated. A lot of the DJs are up inside the building right about now. We're talking to another contender. Yeah. This DJ's been doing this thing for a while, man. Trust me. He's just stepping up, stepping up, stepping up, stepping up. And definitely worthy to be up inside the place to try and obtain the heavyweight belt for crowd response. No other than DJ Spooky, Spooky, we're safe, fam. Big up yourself, you know, there. You know, it's a pleasure to be here. Big up the whole management team, all the staff. Big up on yourself. It's the 25th, you know where we are representing for though. Crowd response. So, everybody for roll out feet, you know, we're there, there. Fully effect, you know, things that are ready. We say party, we say crazy vibes. <laughs> now you have no whole heap of things we say. You know me already. Mm. Action pack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now you've been in a few of these competitions and held it down hard still. Mm. Um, what oh. makes this one a bit different? What makes you, what, what are you going to, I know you say they're not talking too much, but I know you stay, but what kind of vibes, what kind of energy are you going to be bringing? Well, it's a crowd um, response of <laughs> the people. Them. It's all about the people, them, you see me? So it's just deliver. Right, music for the crowd. I just saw it there. It's no. like I don't play thing them say, mm -hmm. so I just vibes that uh -huh. energy. Now away from, from, from the uh, crowd response, you know that you're doing your thing with Immortal right about mm -hmm. now. Um, how's, how's the vibes going, man, since you've been linking up with Immortal? How, yeah, how have you seen the movements kind of like progress from, from being, because it was kind of like more of a solo selector mm -hmm. right up until joining yeah, the sound yeah. to the present moment now. How's the vibe with Immortal? Well, you don't know, know the vibes right now. It's crazy, you know, you know. Crazy dances, crazy events. Only if a big clash has come up, but not to talk about that, so. <laughs> will <laughs> you, know, will you be using vibes? Yes. Will you be using your, your potential of being a Immortal member to draw the Immortal fans out for crowd response as well? Yeah, we have to do that. We have to do that. I don't know the spooky. Enough people know me for a long time, so mm -hmm. it's not a yesterday thing. So, you know, the immortal crowd, them already have the role already because you don't know, say, daddy. Mm -hmm. So, you don't know. Plus, female crowd are ready with daddy already for a morning. So, I'm tell you, boy, if just roll out, it's going to be a good vibes, whole heap of energy, whole heap of things. So, I'm just roll out for you. People, you see this brother? I've seen him do the job. I've seen him juggle. I've seen him prepare and push himself in front of a crowd just the other week. I've seen him shut it down for at least three, four hours straight. It doesn't matter, he doesn't say that much, man, but let me tell you something. You need to watch out for him. He ain't, he's gonna be hungry for this as much as you see him smiling, hungry for this. We'll keep it up each and every time. Fam, anybody you want to big up before we're out of here? Yeah, man, I'm gonna say just big up. I'm gonna say, I mean, I start big up the, the fans, them, and the whole of the crowd, the whole of the, the staff and the management. Feel that something here? Big up the whole of them. Mm -hmm. You hear that? And the people, them, yeah, the roll out. Feel it? It's gonna be crazy. It's not gonna be mad. It's gonna be roll out. No, it's crowd out. response. Roll out. He might just take this. Roll out. <laughs> <laughs> TV Sound System Selector High, we are here. Crowd response is happening the 25th of May. It's going off. Up inside the building, right about now, we are two of the main men who are helping pushing this event to the maximum. To my right, we've got no other than the man himself, Bobby Noodles, <laughs> champion DJ in his own right. Say, hey, fam. <laughs> and we have got. I want to I wanna introduce this brother right now, you know. All round. Entertainer, entrepreneur <laughs> levels we're talking right now. Always suited and booted. Always coming something totally different things out of the box to come and do three years straight of this belt. Doing it different, like I said, no other than Sharty. The same fam. Respect. Well, first of all, let's go straight in. How is preparations right now? How's it looking? Right. Preparation right now. Yes. It's running out, it's actually running. Uh, everything's thinking out. The campaign is strong to be fair. You know what I mean? So, you just have to see what goes on from now, isn't it? To be honest with you. Uh -huh. Now, this is your third year. What makes you think and what has made it such a success? Because we've seen competitions come one year, 
man win trophy and then next year the dance ain't even happening and the man's just holding the trophy like you like no, no go on and what, what, what's made right, crowd me, response be so continuous? Right, let me just run it back from 2002. Crowd response has been up and running from 2002. Then the last crowd response we had was 2015. Then we had a break. So, so we brought crowd response back this year. But this year now we had to like bring a twist to it. So me and Noodles, we sat down around a big table as we do. And um, we just thought, okay then. Let's start picking out DJs who we know can play music, obviously, and we've got followers at the same time. Because Crouch Bounce, it, it's not a clash. It's not really based on a clash. Mm -hmm. It's based on who can play good, mu yeah. good music and who's got a good crowd. Mm -hmm. That's why we've called it. That's why it's always been called Crowd Response. Yeah. But, but during those three, the, this is your third year. Yeah. Without saying any names, um, it, have you contacted some of these so called DJs who? Claim to be going on with better things and this and the other and ready when they're ready and then when you call them, yeah, yeah, they've said no. Yeah, there's a few DJs what I've said they wanted to go in crowd response from a few years ago. So when I've approached them, they're like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. <laughs> and I, I'm thinking, why are you stuttering? Mm -hmm. Because a few years ago you said, yeah, shorty, yeah, noodles, I'm ready to, I'm ready to do this. Mm -hmm. But when we've approached you. Yeah, we haven't done it, so Crouch Bounce is like, it's an open market, and yeah. right, for instance, Remy, I have to give him his rating there, because, say, five, four or five years ago, Remy said, Shorty, Crouch Bounce, Crouch Bounce, I need to be in, and I said to Remy, don't worry, your time will come to me, the same with Spooky, bro, Spooky asked me, and he's here, so everybody has their time, when it's the right time for them to do a Crouch Bounce, so, and Noodles, as a, as, Somebody who knows competition very mm. well. What does it take to be a crowd response champion? It's cool to enter. You know to, you got to, to do? walk out you with know, that belt. You know, you know what you gotta do? Take your time and be yourself. Mm -hmm. Simple like that. Don't do nothing what somebody else is doing. Do you and it be on your journey? Mm -hmm. Crowd response simple stuff, but I'm not even here to talk I'm not like that still. I'm, I'm just being honest right now. Look at my face. Man's on some anti social vibes. So, again, it's a third year. What's going to make this year, you think, going to stand out more than the past two years? Alright. We're both going to have to answer this now. <laughs> yeah? So, you can't get out of this one. Okay. This one now, we decided to have a wild card. So, we said we need a twist to bring it back. But it's been resting from 2015. And to bring this one back, we're going to have to have a twist. So I was like, okay, so what we're going to do then? You can answer, you can answer the rest I'll of show you straight. The formula says, the formula says, oh, let's get this sound, let's get flying this, let's do that. I says, no, we need a female. Mm. I says, it's done. Mm -hmm. And how hard was it to find female? I mean, female DJs. Did you approach female DJs first? Well, how did that whole process go to, 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 to um, all right, then, minimize it down? All right, then, to cut the conversation one knock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> we thought, all right, then, we'll get a DJ, right? But hasn't played music before, yeah? That's why she's a wild card in it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, when we thought of who we was going to have as the DJ, we know, okay, then, she's got a lot of followers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's number one. Number two, She's in the dance or scene, so she must know about music. Yeah, yeah. She has to know about music because she's in this dance or scene, and so she must know what to play. And I know she can talk at the same time. She's got a powerful like She got argument to give at the same time. Okay, so then cool. we come up with much less. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Also, one of the DJs um, who are not here is all the way from out of Sheffield. Man himself, rough cut. Um, big far out, Birmingham, Sheffield. I know he's he's a man of many words. He, he seems to know what he um, what he's capable of doing. How hard is it? I'll ask you, noodles. How hard is it going to be for him coming from Sheffield to come down to Badlands and really represent? Because to be on his social media, know of him, he is known in especially in the sound system, the competitive world. So. What's he gonna have to do to come down here and win over Birmingham? For me, for me, talking the truth. Rough Cut's been playing in Birmingham, London, London, and most Birmingham selected. So <laughs> 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 it should be good to go. <laughs> it's good to go. I'm just keeping it up. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. I remember 96 <laughs> seeing him in dances playing so he should have a good yeah, man. Well, massive, let me tell you something. This is going to be absolutely yeah. massive. Away from crowd response. I mean, I think you two coming together and doing this is mad. Um, I, I couldn't imagine you two sitting around the table, the ideas going to and forth, back and forth. Nah, let's do this, let's do that. You can tell, like, if people don't know these man, the man like bread or so. I know if a man says something, it's like, nah, forget that. You know what I mean? Away from crowd responses, there any other events that you get? You got in the pipeline. Yeah, uh, beer, beer. beer. <laughs> Let me show you something. Oh no, no, man, no, because no, it's no. going to be. Let me show you I think there will all be something extremely entertaining rather than a red and white affair. Let me show you this. Yeah, he's right still. You know what I mean? No, last Saturday, I played in Sheffield mm -hmm. in one place. And it was an experience that I have to bring to everybody. It's like. I should have bought the Oh my man. Yeah, them, That's man. all I'm saying. Just, just, just watch out for you. Just watch out So we're going to see more events away from crowd yeah. response. All right, then. I'm going to give you one event to, just to lock down in your date from now. We're going to bring back Dance or Queen. Yeah, you shouldn't have said this. You know what? Allow it, man. We kept Dance or Queen. You show your own We kept Dance or Queen in um, Club Crush. We're going to bring that back. Yeah? It's not a problem. So just look out for it, and it say no. You know, you no snakes out there, you know. You snap, nah, man. You know what, man? I would have that out, man. You know what I mean? Nah, people people, people are always trying to go. I don't mind. Time. I don't mind any. Well, there you We're go. Gonna put it's it out there. It's going to be massive. When we see it go. Anyway, at the end of the day, there's always people that will come out with somebody's idea. They run with it, but they never have the actual vision. If you don't have the actual vision, you can run with a man's team anymore. But you don't have to be like, I'm thinking three or four or five steps ahead of that situation. So, yeah. Crowd response, it is all about the 25th of May. I am not lying, you know. I'm so badly got one of these. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, I have trophies, but I have no belts, man. <laughs> belt looks sick, you know. And it's proper weight, it is an official belt. It's leather, it's not no. It's a plastic, yo, people. This weighs a decent amount. So, whoever weighs this is going around is going to be an official champion. Um, is there anything. Um, away from the belt that this, these get, obviously there might be a cash prize in there. Is there future bookings? Anything kind of guarantee? Yeah, there's, there's future bookings and obviously, you know what it is. Big dough. Big dough. Well, we look silly to out, man. Crowd response to is Bobby Mudo, shorty, pick yourself yes, every single time. Make sure it's up inside the building. It's going to be mad. You know what it is? It is all about crowd response the 25th of May. Man's getting crazy up inside. Everybody's buzzing. Everybody's excited about the whole event. Go to all the DJs. Then we're going to try and get catch up with the man himself. Rough cut. Uh, different a day, but we're all the DJs are right here. That's the final one up inside the building. I'll introduce this right now. Probably one of the funniest all round entertainers. Always keeps it honest, always keeps it real, always keeps it relevant. And that's why I think he's definitely um, reasonable to be up inside this competition. He's been in the business for such a, such a long time. He knows how to do it. Over 20 years. He's a mad thing in it. No other than Pat Jam up inside the place, but how you doing, man? I'm good, you know. Bless you, Yo, it's here. It's coming again. 25th of May. And I've been at, I've been at all of them. So you've been, yo, yeah, literally, it's still coming. Yeah. You've been at all of these these events right now. Um, what makes you think the third one is going to be you all here to take this belt? Oh, well, you know something? I just, I just do mean it. Mm -hmm. You get me? I've, I've grown up around sound system. I've grown up playing music. Like all my life, mm -hmm. you get me? Because 25, 20, 20 something years of my life has just been playing music. Mm -hmm. So I know that I, I know how to please a crowd, innit? Mm -hmm. Yeah? And I, if I've been doing it this long and I'm still current now, then I've been doing the right things. You know, when, you, when you look at it, right? And this, this sometimes it might sound like a bit bossy or something. It's very hard when. To not just stay humble when you've been in this team for 20 years. When it comes to a crowd response, how easy is it? As a DJ player, how easy to please a crowd? 
because some DJs seem to just find it extremely hard. You know, so yourself when you go out and you see a DJ, and it's, it's just knowing, not connecting. It's How easy is it for you? It's knowing your crowd. You get me? It's like nine times out of ten, when you go into a dance. You know what type of dance you're playing in. Mm-hmm. So you know how to set yourself up in the right way. That you know that you're not going to get lost. You can just, you can just do with this thing that you can do with it easily. You get me? I played for Gemini Dunn, I played for Love Injection, and I played as Champions in Action. Now, as far as I'm concerned, all three of them people there, all three of them names that I just mentioned, they're. Top best in the game. business, didn't it? Mm-hmm. So it's like I was I was taught through good stages. I know how to deal with mm-hmm. pressure and know how to deal with a crowd. Yeah. You get me? The certain time when I first joined the injection, there was one time that they left me. Yeah? Imagine this. Yeah. I don't like them. Everybody's finished and they've played, they've played. And everybody goes, all right, we're going to take a break. We're going to play some R&B. But this is the time where I weren't really known. Yeah. You get me? I was known, but I weren't really known. But, uh, you see, by the time they went to the bar and come back, the whole dance was full up. Yeah. You get me? And that, you just knew from there. You get me? So you just know what type of crowd that you're going to deal with and how to engage that crowd. Mm-hmm. You know that if there's a bag of old school people in there, our age group, you know what type of music they're gonna want. So you know what type of music is gonna please our age group. But if it's a younger crowd, then you've gotta understand that as well. And if it's a big people crowd, you gotta understand that. And playing for all three of them sounds was my learning, you know, like that. So. I understood how to make people dance, you know, like that. And that's why so, you're just up in, and you've been in there three, I saw, you been, this is your third year, did you, have you won any of the, no, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't never been in crowd responses, my first ever. This is first your first one? Yeah, I thought you said you've been to all of them. Yeah, I've been to. Oh, you've been to yeah, all of them. Okay, so now, I'm now, talking, now, your, your headline, from, your headline. From, yeah, <laughs> so, it's like, when I got the call, I decided that you know something. Mm-hmm. Well, so All right, so you've been, you've been. Now you're on the stage. What were the mistakes that you, as a professional, know the thing, been standing in the crowd thinking, nah, bro, you just flop yourself. <laughs> where did they, where did the DJs go wrong? Where you go? That's a secret. <laughs> Smart ass. That is a secret. Yeah. That is a smart ass. <laughs> you know what? We're going to leave it right under Patch Cam. Man, I respect every single time. What a brilliant way Remember to end the interview. That's a secret, yeah? Because if I give out the secret, there's no real Yo, sense. No, that's it, man. Get me? Real if out, I man. know how to, how to govern this thing, why, sir? It's going to be crazy. 25th of May. Anybody you want to pick up before you're out of here? Um, yeah, we got all my sponsors, man. You know who you are. You get me? So, we got this thing. Yeah? 25th of May. That is it, man. It's going to be absolutely off the chain. It is all about crowd response. 25th of May. I'm going to be up inside the building. We're definitely going to be filming some reviews, some footage. They will have the after effect, the aftermath, and we'll find out what's going on. Make sure you're up inside the building. Follow me, TD Sound System. Hit that subscribe button. Sound System Club and United Fashion and Music. Remember, crowd response. I feel like just take off my leather belt and swap it for this one. Tell you, mad thing. Fanatics. Yo. Happy, all on my Instagram, all on my Snappy. Crowd response in our hashtag happy. Oh, it's a lot of money, our oh, hashtag happy. See the DJs, the hungry, them stay happy. The cop are on, dog, you know we're happy. It's a lot of money, dog, hashtag happy. See the DJs in the competition, you're them stay happy. Watch me now, DJ Dems and stay happy. DJ Remy, oh, I'm happy. DJ Smokey, I'm happy. DJ Pat Jam, him hashtag happy. The wild card, Gucci Beshi, hashtag happy. The one rough cut, him stay hashtag happy. Yo, 
crowd just wants to we're happy. 25th of May in Birmingham, we know we're happy. Yo, you understand? So Saturday, 25th of May at a secret location in Birmingham. Six DJs will be battling it out for the cup. Who will win? It's all about the big crowd this month. Early bird, 10 pound tickets. Standard 15 pound tickets. More on the door. Ticket out at Summit Records. Top taste. And Hatman. <laughs>